tutorial in our brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe InDesign and how to import an Excel spreadsheet from Microsoft Excel into Adobe InDesign very easily and very quickly. You don't want to be copying and pasting sections of your spreadsheet or line by line into InDesign when there's a much more efficient way of doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new document real quick. can be anything. Obviously, be aware that if your spreadsheet is very long, you may want to have multiple pages because that spreadsheet is going to have to go across not just one page or two pages. It's going to have to go across multiple pages. So make sure that if you do have a very long spreadsheet, make sure you have multiple pages and not just one page. Uh, next thing we're going to do is take a look at our spreadsheet that we have. I'll just show you an example. Uh, this is a very short spreadsheet just for the point of this tutorial. As you can see, I have an SKU value, an item name, a release date for the item, and the price. If I want to get all this into InDesign, I can very easily do this with a few clicks. So make sure your spreadsheet is closed because it cannot be open at the exact same time when you're trying to import into InDesign. And what you're going to do is head up to File here and find the Place option. And when you have Place here, you're going to find your spreadsheet. Make sure you have the import options here selected. Make sure you check mark this here at the bottom left. Go ahead and press open and you'll be greeted with a dialog box here which shows your import options. Now if you have multiple sheets on your Excel spreadsheet then you obviously want to pick the correct sheet. We only have one sheet. Uh, you can also select based on views if you have multiple views in your Excel spreadsheet. If not then that'll be grayed out so don't worry about that. You don't really need views. Uh, so once we have that at the bottom here, you can uh, select the cell range. If you want, only want to import a certain range of cells, we want to import everything, so we're just going to keep it like that. You also want to import hidden cells uh, not saved in view. So go and check mark that. And then for formatting, if you are importing a linked spreadsheet, and what linked basically means is that if you're making changes in the Excel program to your spreadsheet, those changes we made here in InDesign as well. So if you are importing a linked spreadsheet, then you want to make sure that you that you click formatted table. If you are not doing any linking, then you can select all the other ones. Now, unformatted table basically brings in the Excel spreadsheet with the cells, with little cell blocks, which will basically allow you to change the cell sizes as well. Then you go ahead and click unformatted table. If you don't want the cells or the cell block lines in your import, you want to click unformatted tabbed text. This will basically separate your columns by tabs, uh, by a small amount of white space. And if you only want to make changes to the InDesign uh, spreadsheet and you don't want to have any linking changes to Excel, and most of the time you want to pick this one format only once, uh, this one basically brings in the Excel spreadsheet with the blocks, with the cell lines, and this is the one that uh, you should use if you are planning to reformat your spreadsheet, which you probably are because you may want to change some colors, you may want to change some spacing and some alignment and spread it out. So I would definitely recommend putting format only once. If you have any graphics on your spreadsheet, you want to click, uh, you want to click include inline graphics here, and if you have quotes in your uh, data you want to select this way, option to here at the bottom, but if you don't, then you don't really need to have this at all. So after that, we're going to go ahead and press OK, and you'll get this little icon here that basically has your data uh, crunched up into a small section. Just go ahead and click anywhere on your page and drag out where you want this uh, table or this Excel spreadsheet to land, and it's going to land right here. So as you can see, we did a very clean import here, and you can even edit your content inside InDesign here as well. So if you want to extend some of these columns, all you got to do is grab your type tool here, double click somewhere, then you can go ahead and extend these. And it works just like Excel very easily. You can make columns bigger, you can make rows bigger, you can make them smaller. Uh, another cool thing is you can also do alignment here as well. So if, you, so if I want to align all of my names center align, I can very easily do that by clicking center highlighting here and center aligning. If I want all my SKU values to be um, to be center aligned as well, but I want the text to be black, uh, the text to be white and the background to be black, I can very easily do that as well. We can come up here to our background, select black, and we now have a black fill. And if we want our text to be white, 
we can very easily do that as well. Go up to Windows, find the Color Swatches window. So here's Color, and we're going to click Swatches. We're going to go ahead and click the text right here, and then we're going to go ahead and make sure we have white text, which is right here. And as you can see, now all of our SKU values are white with a black background. And you can do all kinds of cool things. You can add borders here. Uh, you can pretty much format your spreadsheet very easily as you would in Excel, and you can resize it and you can move it around very easily. So if you're making a catalog, if you're making a list of products or any, any type of project that deals with importing an Excel sheet, it's very easily doable on InDesign. You can format and basically customize it as much as you want because it has very similar elements to Excel. So that's pretty much the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, any feedback, any suggestions, leave it in the comments section down below as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other Adobe tutorials on the channel, plenty of other Microsoft tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials, lots of cool tutorials on the channel. If you're interested in technology and software, I recommend you subscribe. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Links in the top right corner of the screen. You can click that card and it'll bring it to the page. And if you want to check out the vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, or the music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Now I'm Smart. I'll be back soon, we think. Don't go anywhere.